Hello viewers, welcome back. Today we continue with free energy research. What is on the menu today is Supyach Sivas Hanumugam Permanent Magnet Motor or Magnet Motor. So this is a very interesting motor. If you go back to my channel and search the videos, you can find the Mark, Mark Brady and also the Christopher Gitson and you will find very similar um, yeah, approach. Yeah? So ba basically there are very similar motors but uh, you can check this one and you will see it's much more simpler than the other two. So Mike Brady is more complicated and the Christopher Gitson it's not that complicated but uh, you can check it. Yeah? So about this uh, Supiach motor I have to thank my um, colleague, so other YouTube creator Abba Coel. So this is the, the link to his channel and you can go to his channel and subscribe. He has some interesting videos as well and I hope to be in touch with him more often and uh, yeah thanks to him you'll be seeing many interesting patents in the near future yeah? so he shared with me some things and i thank him once again abba coil you can subscribe to him and not waste any time here let's see what supiach prepared for us and how his magnetic motor should work all right so this is the supiach magnetic motor or permanent magnet motor so yeah from the first side, it's really, really simple. And it really is when you look at it this way, uh, just a stator and rotor on some support, and that's it, you will see. But I think what's difficult here, and you will see very soon, is how to prepare the, the stator and rotor to, um, to be able to embed the permanent magnets inside. Of course, uh, this housing, so this is the outside housing, so the stator housing and the rotor, and the rotor itself, uh, they are, um, they have to be, including these uh, screws which hold the magnets, you will see they need to be from the magnetic shielding material. So that's the, that is what is stated in the patent and it should be. The same as is done in the Christopher Gitson and the Mark, Br my, Mark Brady permanent magnet motor. So let me highlight, so for the first time, uh, from the beginning I will put that into x-ray so that you will see what's inside yeah. okay so this is now the setup of this magnetic motor you see we have uh, now this is the rotor uh, sorry stator and then there is a rotor now this other other part here very hard to select in this way but uh, generally that's it if I just select the stator you will see now that yeah uh, it's not easy to drill this kind of holes in this housing you should split it in half I think and then um, join it together later because if you have uh, you cannot do this you know, with the <laughs> with the drill or I don't know CNC machine to try this yeah? it's very difficult and you can see that the each each uh, each hole which holds the magnets has also these holes which go through for the fix fixation of the magnet itself yeah. so that's that's the stator the stator is i would say rather complicated to to design and to uh, build but uh, this is the way it should be and you see if, if we get now the perpendicular look it should be specific angle uh, on which uh, this hole should be drilled so that's the that's the first point yeah? so as we can see uh, we have 11 11 ma magnets on the stator and now let's go to the rotor okay if i select now just the the, the rotor uh, so that's it yeah no uh, difference between stator and rotor is that you can see that we have only 10 10 magnets we have on the stator so that's the uh, that's the key here uh, like in other two motors so the uh, rotor should have less magnets so that only in one position so this on the top these are now fully uh, facing uh, one each other yeah? magnets and uh, and then and every every next uh, will do so in the huh, one millisecond after or something like that when this starts to spin yeah? so that's it yeah? so the the difference between stator and rotor that, that we on the rotor have 10 magnets instead of the 11 magnets on the stator and uh, this is of course not limited to this um, amount uh, it also can be done uh, with 
many other arrangements uh, 25 with 24 or 25 with 23 probably I don't know this should work in uh, in this way so if I go now back to the normal view I will try to hide the stator including the rotor so do you get the feeling of these magnets hide the object so so now, now this is these are the magnets and you can see that just this these two at the top are fully perpendicular uh, one to the other even the next one or this one over here it's already not yeah and uh, of course, uh, what is to expect here, like in any other magnetic motor, is that um, this will stop somewhere in between. Yeah? So, between those two magnets, you see, especially because they are the like poles now facing each other between this one and, and this one, that this would stop somewhere here in between. Uh, what's the key here and uh, what should stop this is the magnetic shielding material. So, magnetic shielding materials should overcome or should lessen uh, this opposing magnetic flux not to stop the rotor from spinning you know? and uh, what's here also uh, let me unhide uh, important to mention is that um, you know when uh, uh, what's also written in the patent is when you see there is a lot of magnets here and uh, we have the big rotor yeah? so the rotor is pretty big yeah? and uh, the rotor also acts uh, as the flywheel so that's the second uh, so we should probably start this motor with some because it uh, in the when it's uh, not running it would stop somewhere I think in between but when we uh, let's say push it with the starter motor yeah, then uh, this rotor should have uh, should act as a flywheel yeah, because it has some uh, mass I don't know 50 kilos 10 kilos depending on the size of the motor and when it starts, you know, he already has some momentum, uh, uh, some torque, yeah? and this would help this not to stop. Yeah? But the key in the end, I think it's only uh, the magnetic shielding material, and then this should work as per description in the patent. So that's basically it. This is really similar to the Mike Brady and Christopher Gitson magnetic motor. You can check it on my channel again, so you will see. This one, it's, it's really simple and I think cheap to replicate with uh, not too much magnets. And only thing uh, difficult here, it should be uh, design of the... Uh, or should, uh, should get the specific molds to create uh, this type of stator and rotor with magnetic shielding material. So thank you for watching, until next video, bye bye.